Hello. If you've studied Greek mythology, Greek and Roman mythology, you heard about the nymphs and the dryads and nereids and all these other spirits of the places. Well, you know, I've studied Greek, I've studied uh, Senegalese, Ghanaian, Nigerian, South African, uh, Viet, <laughs> Japanese, Filipino, Maori, Aztec, Choctaw, everywhere you go, there are stories of spirit of a place. And I haven't been to all those places that I just mentioned, but I've been to a few of them, and you can feel that there is a certain essence to that place. When I was in Northern Ireland, in Antrim, every time I'd go across the bridge, there was this feeling in the air. And every time I went past that tower, there was another feeling. And every time I go on 14th Street in Manhattan, there was a feeling. And every time I go to Washington Square Park, there was a feeling. And then I found, I thought it was just because they, it was the hanging ground there. But then I found out that also they had like 20,000 bodies buried under there from a plague. My point is, every place you go in the world has an amazing and unique mixture of minerals and animal matter and all that. And the magnetism and the electronics of that area is unique to that area. I mean, they do that from airplanes. They fly over with uh, machines that measure the magnetism and the electricity of those places. Well, before people had that, they had their gut and they knew that this place felt a certain way and that place felt a certain way. And they named it the Fairy of the Glen, or they named it the Troll of the Bridge, or whatever that culture would assign to that feeling, that spirit, that vibe of a place. And I think it's amazing that people have had these sensitivities always and given them names and personifications so that we can help each other to understand what those feelings have done to those that were perceptive enough to feel it and name it. So next time you go someplace, stand there, feel it, be in that place, smell the fairies, taste the trolls, listen for the gnomes, they're there.